Howdy Simmers, I'm the Simming Koala, and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a good day. Today I am bringing y'all a speed build. This house is built live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash the Simming Koala. If you want to hang out with us, I stream Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern and Fridays and Sundays at noon Eastern, and I play a lot of games, not just The Sims. So if that's something you're interested in, I'd love to see you there. Come hang out with us. We have a great time. Uh, but this house actually took me two streams to build. And one of the streams took place before High School Years came out, and then the other one came afterwards. So one of the rooms that I end up doing, we actually come back to later on to add some stuff and change some stuff out. So, yeah. But this is a four-bedroom, three-bathroom house, and it is inspired by a goth sim that I made named Danica Greenwood. Uh, she's in the thumbnail, if you want to see what she looks like. But basically, I made a story up about her and her so far non-existent family, because I have not made them yet. But she is the daughter of two business people, and she has a kid sister who is super girly, and a brother who is a toddler. And this is their house. So, <laughs> Danica lives in the basement, and she definitely has her own space. Her parents are kind of ashamed of her, because she is, like super dark and like death kind of personality uh, <laughs> so she gets shoved to the basement and they just kind of forget about her but yeah this house honestly did not turn out as bad as i thought it would i am by no means a builder or furnisher of any kind i am a gameplay simmer that's my strong suit i play the game to actually play the game not to build or being create a sim for long amounts of time and making the most amazing looking sims that's not me that's not my thing so i had the intention of actually putting this house in copperdale when the pack came out and unfortunately i actually did not do that uh but this house is up on the gallery if anyone wants it uh the simming koala with two a's at the end um so yeah it's called that one house i know i'm not creative with names <laughs> But that's what it's called, and honestly, this house did not turn out as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that I was building it live on Twitch. So I had a little bit of help to get through this, and I wanted to impress, even if I did it not so well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I cut out a lot of the more tedious stuff, so things like window placement and the layout of all the rooms, and I had some issues with some terrain stuff in the backyard with the basement, but we got that figured out. Here I am messing with wisteria. I'm not good with the wisteria at all, so I did my best, and I don't think it actually came out looking that bad. But yeah, I really just need to stop messing with wisteria. <laughs> But yeah, so where this actually ended up being is Windenburg. It's a 20 by 20 lot. And I don't recall how much it actually cost, but I don't think it was really that expensive. I am probably wrong, but meh. So, <laughs> but yeah, um, this house also comes with a little business office area for the parents and... Overall, I think it turned out really nice. I think my favorite part about this entire house was probably Danica's room in the basement. I just think it turned out so, so cute. And even better with all of the new stuff from the High School Years pack. So, yeah. Uh, but here I am messing with terrain and stuff and actually making sure that the house is facing the right way. Because, as we know, the gallery pictures are absolutely horrible, usually. Like, the lighting is bad, or... Uh, something is blocking the way of the house so you can't actually see it, but <laughs> the gallery can be interesting. So, yeah, just putting some terrain down at the moment, just a little bit, but then we get into the actual uh, interior of the house. And for some reason, I, as much as I really like dark colors in my houses, I like things to be very light and pretty, and so light floors all around. Uh, but we're getting into Danica's room right now, and... I wanted her to have like a full on like dark kind of space for herself. So she <laughs> voiceovers are hard to do, firstly, because I don't have a script on me. I'm just kind of talking as I see things. But 
honestly, like, I think her space probably turned out the best. And I think it's because I put a little bit more effort into her space since this house was inspired by her. But here I am, uh, prior to the pack release, I added that bed. And I actually do change it out for one of the ones that came with the new pack. So I did give her like a proper closet. However, we end up changing out the one that I go with because uh, dumb me didn't realize how thick the back of it was and did not notice that it cut into the stairs. So thank you to my friend Vixen who pointed out that I needed to switch the closets. <laughs> um, but yeah, I gave her a little desk space down here and all she has really is like this cruddy little laptop. But I feel like she probably wouldn't go all out on computer stuff. Like, she's not a tech or, like, gamer nerd in my eyes. So, I did add a few stuff from werewolves in here, I believe. Uh, just because I felt like werewolves definitely fit kind of the vibe. Any kind of occult stuff really felt the vibe to me for her. So, I have some stuff from Realm of Magic, werewolves... Uh, the bathroom is, like, heavily vampires-themed. Um, I loved these rugs from the Spooky Day stuff pack, and I do actually switch them out for one of the new rugs later on. Uh, but I really liked them, and I never really use them. So I don't use a lot of the stuff from, uh, the Spooky stuff pack. So it's just not really something I think about. Um, but I did go ahead and give her a little TV. I also add in this little, like, mushroom chair here shortly. I thought it was so, so cute, and there it is. I just could not not use it. Like, as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to put it in here, and so I did. Um, but yeah, I gave her a little seating area for her and her friends to watch some TV together, if she does have any friends who come down. Um, but... Yeah, I, I thought this was really cute, <laughs> honestly. Like, I don't know if I intend to play with this family or not at all, but this house, honestly, I would play in, if not just to play in the room intended for Danica. But yeah, I showed my chat a little, like, kind of walkway to where what it would look like for a sim to actually walk into this room. Um, I have Twisted Mexi's build cam mod in my game, so I can access the kind of tab camera mode from build mode. Because you can usually only access it through uh, live edit, or not live edit, but live mode. You know, where you actually play the game. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I struggled a little bit with trying to find something to put in that space. I really wanted to add some plants down here. And there really was just not enough space in that area for any of the bigger plants. And so what we end up going with is some wall plants, uh, that one there. And I size them up so that way they take up a little bit more of the space. But moving on to the bathroom, as I said, this is a little bit more vampires uh, inspired. I think the only vampires thing that I don't put in here is the toilet. So because the toilet is a little bit interesting, I thought it was too much for this bathroom. So yeah. But it's a bathroom, so it's not super complicated. But, yeah. So, moving up to the second floor of the house. I don't typically do green kitchens. But, for whatever reason, this house was calling for one. And I think it turned out super cute. I also don't really do these kind of wrapped kitchens where it, like, kind of sticks out and then turns a corner. Like, I don't usually do that. I usually bring it around to make it, like, a wraparound kitchen. And this one I didn't, so, yeah. But I don't think it turned out bad. Uh, we didn't have a lot of cabinet space because of the windows. I did try to make it work, and at the end of the day, it just did not, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I struggled a little bit with some of the decorations for the kitchen. Uh, especially that little utensil kind of holder thing. You see me messing with it quite a bit here. Um, but I just wanted to get it closer to the wall without it, like, touching the oven, so I messed with it quite a little bit. Uh, but overall, I think it turned out really cute, and originally I was going to go with this black tile, but then I ended up doing this kind of green tile here, which I don't think I've ever used before. And somehow it actually worked well with the green kitchen. So, I'm not mad about it. Um, but the living room itself 
uh, moving on to that, I originally tried to use a sectional, but I am definitely not a sectional kind of person, and so we end up scrapping the idea. And I just use like a regular couch, and we get one of the chairs from the decor to the max kit, which I don't use a lot of stuff from that kit, honestly, because it's so out there, and I am a very like simple kind of person when it comes to decorating uh, patterned stuff and like just huge amount of crazy is really not my thing. I struggled so hard to get this dining table to fit, by the way. So we end up shoving it where the bathroom door is currently and we just slide the door to the other side, um, which you'll see here in a moment. But I really just, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was like, I tried so hard to get that table to fit in properly, and unfortunately I really did not have enough space to fit it otherwise, so it just kind of had to go on that wall. That was where I realized that the closet was sticking into the stairs, so we did switch that out. And yeah, so this part was actually after the pack came out, so now we are switching stuff out and changing some things and adding some stuff. So I did go ahead and swap out the chairs for that egg chair. I thought it was so freaking cute. And here I am replacing the rugs with this Moon Phases rug that I absolutely love. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I am a practicing witch and so I love anything witchy and that rug was just perfect. So yeah, I don't think we really add too much else to this room. I think I kind of go through some stuff trying to find some new things to add. But overall, I just added a few simple things, made a few changes, and yeah. So, going back upstairs. I also put her room behind this little bookcase door because I just thought it would be really funny and like add to the whole idea that they really don't kind of want people to know about her so they put her room behind like a fake bookcase door to like hide the fact that there's room down there and that she is down there uh, <laughs> but here I am switching out the furniture in the living room because as I said I really was not digging that sectional so I did try to put another one of those chairs there but it just felt too crowded so I got rid of it and I just stuck with the one um the lack of paintings in this game drives me crazy. At least the lack of good paintings. Like, I always have a hard time with putting stuff on the walls just because I feel like so much of the wall stuff that we have is really just like decals for kids' rooms. And it really does not, uh, does not do justice for paintings. Like, when you're trying to build a nice house, you really don't want to add like, dog decals to the walls in the living room, you want to put some nice paintings. And for me, I just feel like we have such a lack of good paintings that I'm using the same ones constantly, and it gets kind of boring. Uh, I did end up changing out the color of the hallway in the living room just because I felt it was too dark in here. And I really liked this kind of peachy color, which I don't think I've ever used in a build ever, but yeah, I mean, it didn't turn out bad. I actually thought it kind of worked, and it definitely brightened up the room a little bit. So I wanted to put a plant thing here just to kind of do something with that ledge. And we went with this like planter thing. Um, but I went ahead and just painted the rest of the rooms. So that way that was done. And all I had to do was worry about the furnishing. So moving on to the girly sister's room, I kept with this like pink and white theme. Um, and I think it turned out cute at the end. There's not a lot to it, but I don't think it turned out bad. I mean, it's a kid's room. Kids don't really need a lot. They need a few toys and they'll be fine. So I gave them a dollhouse and a stuffed unicorn thing. There it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, the toddler's room, I ended up cutting out uh, me trying to mess with the decals from the My First Pet Stuff pack because it just took so long. One of the things was snapping to the top uh, half of the house and I could not get it to even out. So uh, yeah, that gets cut out, but trust it took a long 
time for me to figure out how to do that stuff. I don't ever use those decals. So, yeah. Um, but I think I've been rambling long enough, so I'm probably just going to end my voice over here and let you guys enjoy the rest of the build. So I'll have the link to the download in the description below. Uh, and of course, my Twitch channel and all my other social media links are down there also. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss anything. Don't forget to follow my socials. Links are below and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.